We've already used Bootstrap CSS, so in this video we're going to learn how to add in the links for Bootstrap's JavaScript so we can start using some of that really simple functionality. So we're going to start by just going to getbootstrap.com. Right at the top we're going to click on get started. And just for testing purposes I'm not going to go ahead and download this or install it any other way. I'm just going to hit copy and copy their CDN. Come back in here and just paste it right in the head. I'm going to tab it out so it's just a little bit cleaner and I'll save it. All right, so we've added Bootstrap CSS, Bootstrap's theme, and the all-important Bootstrap's JS, which is really what we're after. So when we open up our page and we refresh, right, we have no functionality on here, but there is something that we're actually missing. So when we right-click and we inspect element, and we click on console, you'll see that we get an error that says, uncaught error, Bootstrap's JavaScript requires jQuery. Essentially, what this is saying is you need to add jQuery. So if we wrote our own code into it, if we wrote our own modal or tooltip or carousel or anything like that, it absolutely would not work without jQuery. So we need to go ahead and grab jQuery. So we can just go to jQuery.com. Then we're going to click on this big orange button, download jQuery. We're going to scroll about halfway down the page until you see these script tags. We're just going to grab the first one, we'll copy it, go back into our code. Then we need to decide where to actually place it. So if we place it afterwards, it actually won't work because Bootstrap requires jQuery. And with JavaScript, the scripts need to be in very particular order. In this case, jQuery needs to come before Bootstrap's JS. So we could save it. We'll go back to the page, we'll refresh, and now we're getting a new error. Error, file not found. Let's go back to jQuery.com real quick, and right up here at the top, they mention that in order to use their CDN, we need to include HTTP colon in front of the two forward slashes. I have no idea why they do not include this already. Uh, it really does not make any sense to me. There's no clear reason to me why yet. Uh, if you happen to figure it out, please leave a comment and let me know. So we'll go back here to index.html. We'll refresh and the error goes away. So we now can use Bootstrap's JavaScript functionality for our sites. 